It is important uh, for us that since the opening of this park, there has been um, a lot of attention of international press, among other things we've We've worried, we've been concerned, but the press gave us very good and, I would say, positive coverage. And the general discourse was about different issues and aspects of the park, our landscape and architecture and social. But generally speaking, it's a very positive uh, case and story. In this sense, we've relaxed, but it's also important to us uh, that the park was a part of all kinds of international um, uh, awards, architectural ones, landscaping ones and uh, even the very specialized ones and for us the very first award that we've received <coughs> Its Arc Daily uh, Portal uh, Award was especially important to us because it has revealed that what we have been doing throughout all these years was right, was important, and <clears throat> was accepted not only by Russian communities and Russian experts, but also by international architectural community. <clears throat> So, it's my special pleasure that today uh, we have David Bazulto attending our panel, one of the co-founders of the uh, ARC Daily and the chief editor. And I would like to ask uh, David to share uh, about this award and what criteria um, are of this premium, of this um, award, and why, in your perspective, Zariadi Park was able to win in this nomination. Thank you. Um, thank you, Peter, for giving me the opportunity to bring this external view on what Sariai the Park and its impact is. Uh, and to, to put it in context, Art Daily is today the most uh, used architectural platform on the internet, serving thousands uh, of architects every day, providing them with great knowledge to help them uh, address this challenge of the rapidly growing urban population. Um, and in this position, we have a big responsibility to, to let them know what are the trends, which are the projects that are moving the arrow of architecture. Um, and to do so, among the big amount of projects that are out there every day, uh, we decided to establish the Building of the Year Award 10 years ago. But we decided to do it um, taking advantage of what the internet can offer, uh, distribute networks, uh, embrace globalization, not with a, a small group of experts only. So we reach out to this collective intelligence of hundreds of thousands of experts from all over the world to recognize these projects. And during the years, the, the process has been very enriching because this uh, collective intelligence not only recognizes the, the fantastic works of practices such as OMA or Zaha Hadid architects, but also young emerging practices in very particular places of the world. And this phenomena is not just about popularity, it's something that we have been researching, researching with the University of Colorado or with Ken Gokuma Lab in Tokyo University on how the distribute a selection of projects is changing the perception on what are a positive models of city making, positive models of architecture, very away from these big poster icons that during the past decade was where every city was after for. Projects that are much more related to the site and to local conditions. Um, and Saria de Park won the Building of the Year Award in the public uh, category. Uh, this year, that is, it was a very competitive one because it presents projects, all public projects, in cities such as Copenhagen or Seoul, recognized for their, their urban development. But you could see something in common between all these projects, the uh, redevelopment of waterfronts, repurpose of transport infrastructure, redevelopment of city centers, showing that these are the pressing issues for architects around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, by looking at these signals, you understand why Sariade Park was the winner. Uh, it is a good synthesis of all these issues. But Sariade Park is not just the singular project. As the mayor of Moscow show, it is part of a process, a process that I have been very happy to see since I met you many years ago when this is start. And that it shows a, a strong commitment from its leaders, from the mayor, from the city architect, not only to, to create this piece of architecture, but also to open 
to create other competitions that can enable international consult consortiums to take part and to bring this knowledge to be part of the development of Moscow and also shows a commitment to the citizens to improve their quality of life and to bring everybody together on this public sector, private sector, citizens, and uh, even the educa educational institutions. Mm -hmm. So at the end, we can see that Saria de Park is an important milestone along this process of uh, improving the quality of life of Moscovites. Mm -hmm.